God bless you class. How are you all? You know, today we are going to study about a very important experiment which is discovering the first model of atom. Yes, this is none other than Ernest Rutherford's atomic model. And the picture is showing its experiment which was performed and as a result the atomic model was made so first first we get some information about the scientist Rutherford was born at Nelson New Zealand and he was educated at the University of New Zealand and he conducted his research work in 1895 with J.J. Thompson at Cavendish Laboratory and in 1907 he accepted Longworthy Professorship at Manchester University in England where Chadwick was one of his student and you know the very important thing about Ernst Rutherford that he was awarded with a Nobel Prize in 1908 in the field of atomic physics so we are going to study about a very important theory which proved to be a milestone in chemistry subject first we revise what we have learned before his experiment we have studied enough about the charged particles in atom you know, atoms have three types of subatomic particles. They are electrons, protons, and neutrons. And electrons are negatively charged, whereas protons are positively charged, and neutrons have no charge, means they are neutral. And how they were discovered? In 1900, J.J. Thomson discovered the presence of negatively charged particles which were further discovered by William Crookes in discharge tube experiment. And Goldstein discovered protons by conducting gas in discharge tube and those rays were called as canal rays. And these rays were positively charged. This later led to the discovery of protons. And in 1932, Chadwick discovered the presence of neutrons, means neutral particles, present in the atom. So after these discoveries, an experiment was performed by Rutherford. Rutherford was very keenly interested in finding how these particles are present in an atom. So he performed this experiment by using a radioactive material polonium he bombarded he produced and bombarded alpha rays or alpha particles he bombarded alpha rays through a gold foil which was point double zero double zero four centimeter thick only and he get the traces on a fluorescing screen of zinc sulfide. In fact, he passed alpha rays which are positively charged helium nuclei. Means these particles were positively charged. Each ray was doubly positively charged and it is having the ability to penetrate or to pass through a substance and for this he selected gold and what he observed he observed that most of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil like the rays which are passing through the gold atoms 
and he observed that some of the alpha particles were slightly deflected by small angles like this one and a very few particles appeared to be reborn means very few were bounced back like the beam of alpha particles are penetrating or passing the gold foil or the atoms of gold and all of them are mostly undeflected and very few of them are showing a slight deflection when we see how it is happening the positive charge is passing through gold atoms undeflected means they are not changing their directions and they are traced on the zinc sulfide screen making the image and very few of them are changing their directions and they are making very less angles and very very few are bounced back or they are rebound making some angle what what we can conclude from these observations we see most of the space inside the atom is empty that is why most of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil without changing their direction the atom has a small nucleus where positive sign is present so the particles which change their direction making very low angles and small angles must be going in a region where positive charge was present and when we compare the angles of deflection we see the size of the nucleus is very small compared to the size of the atom now these conclusions are exemplifying or proposing what can be the arrangement or what can be the model of an atom so rutherford defined that atom is the positively charged atom atom has a positively charged nucleus at its center like this in center positive charge is present and he called this place as nucleus and the negative charge is revolving or in motion and the negative charge is outside the nucleus and the size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the size of the whole atom if we accept his model then we have to apply this model where oppositely charged particles are arranged in this manner and when we see when a charged body moves in a circular orbit it gets accelerated iski speed increase ho jati hai and when it gets accelerated the charged particle would be losing and emitting energy and with this emission it will follow a spiral path and finally it will be emitting its energy and it would, it would fall in the central region where protons were present where nucleus was present if this happens the atom will collapse in 10 raised to the power minus 8 second the very short span of time but practically this is not happening means the negative charge must be in some undiscovered place so this was the drawback of the rutherford's model so you have to read this topic thoroughly from the book then i will be asking you further questions about rather the rutherford model thank you class god bless you take care